El Portenazo, the 2nd of June 1962 to the 6th of June 1962, was a short-lived military rebellion against the government of Romulo Betancourt in Venezuela, in which rebels attempted to take over the city of Puerto Cabello, 60 miles, 97 kilometers from the capital. The rebellion was on a substantially larger scale than that of El Carapanazo a month earlier. On 2 June 1962, units led by Navy Captains Manuel Ponte Rodriguez, Pedro Medina Silva and Victor Hugo Morales went into rebellion. The 55th National Guard Detachment declined to participate. The rebellion was crushed by 3 June, leaving more than 400 dead and 700 injured, and by 6 June the rebels' stronghold of Solano Castle had fallen. A photograph of a chaplain holding a wounded soldier during the rebellion won the 1963 Pulitzer Prize for Photography and 1962 World Press Photo of the Year for Hector Rondon of La Republica. Testimonies <inaudible> 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 Different stories retelling the event mourned Venezuela, taking the rebellion as an unjust and unnecessary act of war. Many reconciled what had happened according to their personal and political affiliations. Ali Brett wrote, according to his investigation, After 6 a.m. on Sunday the masonry of Solano Castle began receiving the impact of bombs. When the bombing began, we were in the neighborhood. Lost to Harrius. A few meters from the old fortress, which, for the first time in several centuries was a victim of an attack of this nature. The fort was an enigma of the uprising and much was speculated about its power. All of the stories told of the advantages and strategic position of the Black Burrow, a popular name for the antique cannon. People knowledgeable of this weapon know that if it was fired, even only once, Puerto Cabello would disappear. Barely keeping up during the insurgency, the Marines raised the naval base to guard the fort, whose inhabitants, by this day, Monday 4 June, were already dead. The presence of the executive officials and some military leaders clarified the mystery that had almost become the truth during the course of events, due to ill-founded stories. He concludes his investigation by saying, that the fort could be used as a point of operations for the rebels signifies one of the many known military errors of the event. After the appearance of the airplane as an element of war, these strengths were of no strategic effect. Topic. See also Second Presidency of Romulo Betancourt Hashtag Internal Unrest Topic. References Topic. Further reading In Spanish, Ali Brett Martinez, 1973, El Portenazo, Historia de una Rebellion, Ediciones Adaro. In Spanish, Ultimas Noticias, 5 June 2012, Del Archivo de la Cadena Capriles, El Portenazo, Gallery of 24 Photographs, including Ultimas Noticias front page of 4 June 1962, with the award-winning photo by Hector Rondon.